sitting back at 411 headquarters and just playing a lot of shit back on my, my mind. And I, I done came to the conclusion that I'm the realest gangster I know. You feel me? I'm the realest nigga in the street I know. Mine is, uh, we gonna even say mine of the money because they got some little bitch ass nigga might have more bread than I do. But at the same time, I'm the realest fucking nigga in the streets. And why I say I proclaim myself to be the realest nigga in the street, I'm gonna tell you why I feel I'm the realest nigga in the streets. Because first of all, I'm a good nigga. And anybody that really know me, know I'm a good nigga. I'm a nigga with a heart, you feel me? So, therefore, I don't just go out my way to make people feel fucked up in no form or fashion because that's not my style. Even though I know I got the capability to do so, that's not how I choose to conduct myself. At the same, and on another note, why I feel I'm the realest nigga out there, you know what I'm saying? Because any nigga test me, I don't give a fuck what your name is. I don't give a fuck what your rep is, how many niggas you done beat down, shot down. It's my duty to try to fucking take your ass out and add to my rep. Because how the fuck you think I got where I got? You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Money, power, respect, that shit you got to continue to nurture throughout your life to the day that you die. Because there's always some little bitch ass nigga and envy your power, envy your respect, and envy your bread. So there's not nothing I could just go buy and put on my shelf and be like, okay, I'm going to just sit in here. Just something when I wake up in the morning, I got to put my game face to go do, you feel me? I got to put my mind to get this bread. I got to keep my mind, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to keep my respect. Because ain't no way you're going to keep your bread without no respect. And from all that, here comes the power. And once I, once I put myself in a position of power, trust me, I know how to execute that power. But I would never use that power just to say I could use it. That's not what power is for. That's not what power was meant for. Many people abuse power that way, but I won't be one of them, even though I know I possess a lot of power within me. I make shit jump. I make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? And I control the whole situation at one time. Mm -hmm. Niggas be like, 411 be spraying these niggas, macing these niggas. What not, you feel me? And all that good shit, you know what I'm saying? But on, on, on the same token, I could be doing these niggas a whole lot worse. But what position I would be putting myself in? <laughs> I play the game. I never let the game play me. I play this shit. But believe one thing, I could put enough on any nigga ass to make him want to stay away from me. Mm -hmm. And I really don't give a fuck what your name is. Or what you think you're doing out there. You feel me? If you're not thinking, if you're not thinking, little niggas, don't even come fucking with me, man. If you ain't planning on coming take me out, little niggas, don't even come fucking with me, because that showed me right then and there, you out, you leave. If you're thinking about just coming back me up and put your hands on me, that's not the answer, little nigga. I'm too street for this shit, you feel me? I, I, you know what I'm saying, nigga? I got grandkids now, niggas. You feel me? I'm, I'm way above you niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, fly, I'm flying way above you niggas, man. You feel me? I know I'm the shit, nigga. That's why every time I'm around, I got all you fly-ass niggas hanging around me. You know, you know fly love a shit. And that's how I know I'm the shit. Because every time I'm around, you flies hang around. the shit, nigga. Quit trying to go against a nigga like me and come get the fucking program, nigga. Because doing this shit y'all way, y'all got the shit all fucked up. 
y'all got the hood all fucked up. And y'all put a lot of people that y'all love in fucked up situations. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucked up situations. You know, like Boosie say, situations, man. You gotta, you, you gotta realize the situations you put yourself in sometimes. But I ain't gonna continue on just preaching to you niggas because you niggas ain't gonna listen no way. You feel me? You niggas got hard heads and, and with a real soft head. And I'm about to show you niggas just how soft y'all is. I'm going to play y'all like kids. You feel me? I'm going to play y'all just like kids. You feel me? Every time you put your mind to fuck with me, I'm going to play you just like a child. You feel me? But just that, I, I, I'm, I'm an aggravated daddy. I, I'm a daddy that's going to put some pressure and pain on your motherfucking ass for your mistake. I'm, I'm going to chastise my children. That's what I'm going to do for y'all. I'm going to show y'all the right way how to do this shit. And how I'm going to do this for y'all niggas? By chastising you niggas. Every time you get out of line, daddy come and chastise you. So from now on when you see me, don't be hollering my boy. Holler my man. Because now nah, nigga, I'm y'all daddy. I'm the fucking daddy of the motherfucking streets, nigga. That's what I am. I'm the fucking daddy, nigga. And you niggas know who I'm talking to. I'm the fucking daddy on the street. So ain't no more my ball shit. Holla, what's up, daddy? Because, nigga, y'all my sons, nigga. That's what's going on. And that's the fucking business straight from 411. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of you bitches, and even bitches hating on the sideline the way I be handling you balk-ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because they be so mad on the inside knowing that they the niggas y'all fucking. But I handle them just how I probably used to handle them.